Hi, my name is Matt Naragi. I'm with Feature Logic. Over the next several videos, I'll be walking you through a step by step process on how to install the latest firmware on your Gentoo Universal printer. So, in this initial video, we're going to check your printer and make sure it can be upgraded. There are a few exceptions, and we're going to look for those. You'll need to stop the upgrade process immediately if you have an IGT printer loaded with the following firmware numbers. Units that have a firmware number starting with GUN and the second to last number is a 2. The numbers between the N and the 2 and any number that comes after the 2 are irrelevant as far as this process goes. The most common firmware number is GUN0010020. The other group of IGT printers to look for have the following firmware number. They start with GUU, and then the third to last number is a 4. Again, the numbers that come between the U and the 4, and anything that comes after the 4, are irrelevant as far as this identification process is concerned. Now, regardless of the firmware number, there are a limited number of printers out in the field that will require a special process before they can be upgraded. These are referred to as one-time programmable or OTP printers. You can identify these printers by double-checking their serial tag. The serial tag is typically located on the front side of the printer. Once you've located it, look for a Rojas stamp. If you can't locate a Rojas stamp, you'll have to stop the upgrade process if you've got the following serial tags on the side of the printer. Serial tags 220-00046 or 220-00046-0. Dash zero zero one. Let's do a quick recap. If you've got an IGT printer with an existing firmware that matches what you see on the screen, or regardless of the firmware number on your printer, if the tag on the side of the printer does not have a Rojas symbol and contains one of these two serial tags, you'll need to stop and contact FutureLogic. Otherwise, you may proceed to the next video.